Hello dear viewers welcome to my show Rocket Monday in today's episode we're going to talk about rocket staging so let's dive right into it well first we have to understand why the heck do we even go through all the trouble of like you know making a rocket engine making a awesome fuel tank and then just throwing it away why the hell we do that well w- one thing you have to understand basically two core factors you have to understand we don't want orbital height we want orbital velocity those two things are very separate like you can design a like you know cannon that just throws something to uh, or uh, basically orbital height 100 km that's easy problem is sending it fast enough basically or that's why rocket goes uh, like this once it's outside of atmosphere it's like because we need speed not height so how do we get speed we get it from acceleration then what is the biggest hurdle of acceleration mass so heavier you are you might be like okay i'm only adding one extra kilogram in case of a rocket forget about it like you added one extra kilogram uh, in a like you know rocket that is like even designed for 100 tons most likely it will not reach orbit stably so unless it has extra fuel and extra margin of error but you get the idea basically you want your mass as low as possible then you want as high of acceleration as possible so can we do single stage yes absolutely physics is not saying oh you cannot do that and heck on moon we have to do single stage orbit on mars we will do single stage so it's not that single stage like physics is like bah shall not have single stage physics is not stopping it's just not cost effective that is the core reason we don't do single stage it's like if you have a billion dollar and somebody is like okay take a billion dollar give me a space vehicle you'll be like okay this staging space vehicle can put like you know this much uh, like let's say 100 ton and the single stage can do one ton what will you buy that's the whole thing like you don't have to think in like okay i made it in kerbal space program in real life you have to design it build it engineer it and you have to pay for all the people and not to mention fuel also is not free so in that reality cost is flat out not uh, recommending single stage to orbit now ssto is possible in physics physics is not stopping you like our first uh, lunar uh, modules were single stage to orbit so it's not impossible it's just on earth in real life is just multi stage is wiser choice if you have a budget again everybody does even elon musk is like you know low on money jeff bezos is low on money because rockets rockets are on a whole different level like ferrari is like bro ferrari is such a toy is like you know one of those engine is like f1 engine is like hundreds of ferrari so you get the idea multi stage is wiser now Uh, almost all rockets that have reached into orbit barring some uh, you know sounding rockets most of them are generally multi stage system why one simple reason is like think about this way if you are uh, taking the weight of let's say falcon 9 uh, stage 1 it's uh, basically 9 inch lot of thrust and uh, it's 22 tons empty 22 tons now uh, what if you like you know let's say made it bigger and you like okay uh, made it bigger and then you added more engines to add more thrust and you added more fuel so you can drive those engines uh, can it go to orbit in one stage absolutely yes the your payload would be much smaller why because you are not dumping the extra energy basically your tank is uh, still there tank adds ma- uh, basically mass mass slows down your acceleration so even though you have quote and quote more thrust it's not translating into your orbital speed that is why we want our mass to be so low if you just ditch the tank away awesome like if let's say for some reason some in future design somebody can design a solid rocket motor which literally burns away ra- rather than having the same height it burns uh, like you know burns away we will have some stage to orbit in all icbms after that like if somebody can come up with that so right now what we have is a ca- casing so if we can't throw away the casing people have to ditch the whole damn stage so that's the reality like you might be thinking like is the fuel tank really that important uh, like in terms of mass capacity so yes it is and not to mention uh, this also allows us some extra leverage basically let's say you want a first stage you will have different requirement when you are talking about something that has to work in space it will have a different event but let's say you are talking about something that has to you know reignite multiple times for another thing you will have different engine requirement so multi staging also has like you know this blessing in disguise where you can oh this is a sea level engine let's design fine tune it for that and and have like you know uh, simple uh, uh, geometry and then you're like okay this is a space engine you want most amount of mileage and then thrust by a hydrogen engine so that is why we do staging it's like it's just not cost effective to do single stage physics is not stopping you do not make that mistake like people say like your physics doesn't no physics allows it. it's just stupid it's like yeah build a uh, 500 meter long robot uh, basically rocket is like yeah not happening so all those things in take into consideration so how do we achieve staging well there are many types obviously you can easily see the variety of rockets so you can understand that there are multiple types design directly defines it whether you going to have a multiple staging you going to have single staging single staging is a two stage rocket or uh, you will have like you know serial staging one after the another like a falcon 9 you will have parallel staging like space shuttle or uh, russian rockets and sometimes mix up both russian rocket again so 
there are many types so let's look into the detail of serial staging now serial staging is the easiest to under understand is the simplest and most commonly used and why we call it serial again if i'm familiar with your nine standard study books you will have like a registers in electricity where you apply them one after the other that's the same thing so we do that now how do we physically attach it like that's a big thing now there is one thing working for you is that you are providing thrust basically you are providing newton so your joint does not have to uh, like we stand against pull force basically it's not like yeah, i'm gonna pull it now it, it has to push it so you do not need too much structural uh, basically clamping force however you do require it to be stable why because rocket shakes like there is no tomorrow so it's like you have to design something that can be standard Rather, you cannot just keep it there physics wise you can do that if you run a simulation your simulation will say it will work it's just when in reality you have little of wind uh, the stage will fall off so that is why there is a serious clamping system is done now older system was simply explosive board we had metal uh, clamps and all that and we put the uh, explosive powder and tada we blow it up the moment uh, basically we reached the staging point now there has been a recent amazing movie that randomly somebody figured out that uh, columbia studio literally recorded a whole uh, apollo 11 mission in basically imax camera of that time medium format amazing quality but they never did anything else so somebody found that made a whole movie out of it the staging event of saturn uh, one uh, basically five was so huge basically the stage one the, the sound reached the ground level and i did not realize that this, there is actual sound of that it's not a cgi or effect there's actual sound like you can hear the rocket like the explosives again it's a big rocket you are talking about something that is 100 meter tall plus 100 around 50 meter tall so again explosives were also you know chunky things because if if you use soft metal it might just collapse the moment you start to fuel it up so they had something very strong and not to mention you need something even stronger explosive so you can see like a giant uh, shock wave comes out and it's like you know it's amazing so we used to use explosive board. However, uh, from day one, uh, Falcon 9 was designed in such a way that it had to be reusable. So they could not just go yellowing everything. So they designed pneumatic systems. Now, uh, there may be hydraulic systems involved, uh, hydraulic systems as a catch-all system, basically. Pneumatic system does the work and hydraulic is just locking or unlocking system because you have to understand, the vibration is your enemy. That is the main reason we people simply go with explosive board. It's just make it a metal system and we'll break the metal. It's that uh, like, you know, violent, so to say. So pneumatic system you benefit, it has a reusability side effect, it is much more complex and expensive and all that. So you must reuse it multiple times otherwise it was waste. Now this allows us to dump uh, basically sea level engine and tank. Because now you have dumped the engine which are the main weight and the fuel tank, your rocket is much more lighter. So if you have let's say 1 kilo Newton of thrust, 1 kilo Newton of thrust pushing let's say a uh, 30 ton rocket versus a uh, 1 kilo Newton pushing 3 ton rocket. Again, you can easily understand three ton will go much faster and not to mention since you are outside of atmosphere, there is no track. That's why you will always see people will try to ditch the fairings as quickly as possible because if the engine is firing, if you drop the uh, basically fairing, your engine will literally pick up extra booster. It's like nitrous oxide to your engine. It's like, like it is so big, so prominent that in case of Falcon 9, they have to tone down the engine, especially the second stage once it starts to gain speed. It's like because they do not want it to accelerate beyond 5G because it's unstable for satellites and all that. Again, satellites are tested for higher Gs. It's just that that shall not push your satellite, that shall not push your luck. So we want to keep it down. So we just tone down, hey, hey, chill down, we throttle the valves and all that. So you get the idea. Basically, we want to trim as much fat as possible as quickly as possible otherwise your mass to acceleration translation will not be very good so see the staging so what about parallel staging well parallel staging allows you to have boosters now boosters i mean instead of having one after the another you can have multiple in the same go now space shuttle is very unique in this regard because this is one of the type where you had the engines that started on the sea and reached to orbital velocity on one go basically it, there was no turning off this engine or like you know having something else it's just this engine split and it reached to orbital velocity it was that powerful however while it did have the speed capability it did not have enough thrust on sea level so they added boosters on side so these boosters will like you know just push it along once it pushed dumped enough uh, you know energy into it they will fall away and this whole system will reach to orbital velocity the uh, the tiny engines that you see in the back those will be like for maneuvering basically it reaches orbit in one go it's just like one engine that's why this is one of the most 
parallel of parallel system. Now let's talk about Russian system. This is parallel in stage one. It, it has a stage two. So it is a serial. So it's like parallel plus serial. But what do they do is like they realize early on is that if they can have multiple engines, they can get a lot of thrust out of it. Problem is those engines are very heavy, like fuel tank versus engine. Engine is much more heavier. So they decided, hey, let's put as many engines as we can and then throw it away. So they will have pod like structures like this. So you have core pod that will keep that is classified as sustainer engine. So it will keep going on as long as full stage is working and then they'll have booster. So you launch it up. Why you want something like this rather than a solid booster? Simply because it's controllable and it has better safety requirement than this. So you launch it up, it has extra thrust to fight against the gravity to get the acceleration. Once it gets there, once it's reaching a point where it's like, hey, this can sustain it, it's like, okay, they ditch the whole rocket engine without changing the fuel tank. So again, because the engines are so heavy, the rocket gets extra momentum, basically, not momentum, as in like extra oomph. So they go to like a higher orbit, and once they are in their quote-unquote orbit, they stage the rocket. So this is very unique because this is true parallel, and this is a, you know, parallel plus serial. Parallel's first stage, and then you have serial second stage. So, and parallel staging is also advisable for many scenarios, basically if you want to make a cheap rocket. It sounds like a cheap rocket, but in reality the economics works backwards for that, but uh, that is why you will see a lot of Indian rockets will have multiple tiny rockets, and Atlas, uh, old series of Atlas, basically Atlas 2, Atlas 3, Atlas 4, those will have also multiple small boosters. Those are added in parallel to stage 1, because they, can, they just want that extra oomph to get off the ground. And that also allows you to control that. Like, let's say you have geostationary payload, you will put more side. You have lower orbit payload, you will put less. So, that is why we want to utilize parallel stage. So, what can we expect in the future? Well, you have to understand that uh, staging events is a one point failure. Basically, things bad things can happen when you have like actual explosive going to. So, things could happen. Now, there is a very good footage of uh, basically uh, Falcon 1, the first rocket uh, they, the rocket design they built, third launch. And what happened is like when they did, uh, you know, separated those things, it had apparently still had a little bit of fuel, but because the weight the mass is now less, it accelerated and hit the damn rocket. And that was a big issue with uh, basically Saturn V. Saturn V literally had multiple rockets, like small solid rocket motors. Sole job was to create separation event cleanly. Basically, uh, if the first booster, let's say you detached, you explosive, explosively fired them apart, they will have inertia, inertia, little bit of inertia dumped by the explosive. They will go far apart. Here's the, it will hit it back again. So to make sure that hit it back again and kill everybody not does not happen, they had sm uh, small rocket motors that will slow it down. And they had extra small motors on the uh, you know, up, uh, second stage to give it extra speed. So they make sure that separation between those two can never, no matter what happens, can hit it again. So uh, if you see the movies uh, where they show you like, you know, small three rockets engines are going and then the main engine fires, that's the reason for that. They wanted to make sure there is giant gap between those two because otherwise you can see that I have provided the link down where it's like, you know, if the stages goes back, everybody's like, yeah, and then it's like, bam. So, you don't want that. You want as few or staging events as possible. So the three stage is no longer like you know viable as it used to be. Then we are also moving away from explosive because again, how many explosives you have to have in a like let's stage just like this where you have like, explosives on the side, you'll have so second stage, third stage, fourth stage, lot of explosive. You don't want that many explosives. Not only it's expensive, it's also unreliable. Again, we have been using it, but you have to understand that sometimes it happens like you know, uh, uh, metal does not break apart rather than it just deforms Tada, you are stuck so people want to move into more reusable territory so explosive is not reusable so all the designs of the future are generally dual state system rather than something this complicated uh, like new glenn electron rocket most of the things are dual stage and most of them are using uh, you know clamps rather than relying on boom boom event so that's the future uh, of our uh, basically system and SLS is still stuck in this parallel and serial stuff basically they'll have parallel stage and then they'll have serial stage again no wonder it's so expensive so this is the reality of staging so I hope you liked my presentation about staging uh, if you liked it please click the like button if you didn't like it didn't enjoy it I'd urge you to press dislike press it twice to show me an extra disappointment and please leave a comment because I reply to all of them subscribe share it amongst your friends if you like press the bell icon if you're free and as always thanks for watching